Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just landing at a big island. Did you guys guess where I pop out next? Well, I'm gonna spend next five days in the big island. I'm gonna show you my trip during my stay in the big island. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe my channel so you can see all the restaurant I'm going to and all the places I'm gonna popping out at next. Well, let's go. Can wait. Not that big. Once you pick up your luggage, just come across the street in the middle island. It's your ride share. Usually, if you your hotel or resort is by the same side of the island on the west side, which is Kona side, it will be about thirty dollars to get to your whatever the resort is. Even the air smells sweet. Who doesn't like Hawaii? After 20 minutes car ride from the airport, now we arrive at our home for the next five days. So the place, it is the older hotel. The reason I booked it is right next to the ocean. I will show you around just a little bit. Um, all the old hotel, they occupy all the ocean front. That's why it's hard to get the newer one. But I do like a little bit uh, history in the hotel. As long as there's no spiritual stuff in there. Take a look right here. They have a koi pong. Got a lot of pony fish in here. It's a lot of people just chilling here. Maybe I would do that next couple hours. Hey guys, this will be my home for the next five days. Check it out. The older hotel they kind of um, remodeled a little bit so the furniture is new but the building structure it is pretty old I do like the feel of they have those uh, oak the oak wood maybe perhaps the head wall looks pretty nice looks pretty comfortable right here Ooh. It's pretty tough bed. <laughs> and I I do like the nine lights right here. And I do like this decoration with a little lights on that. It's okay because we won't spend too much time in the room. Check it out. This will be my room for the next few days. Love it, love it. You can hear the wave. That over there it looks things a little bit more calm and it looks like a, it's a bay over there. I do like they have a little table right here. So at night we can have a bottle of wine. And in the morning we can drink some coffee here. One thing I really don't understand is they have a carpet right here. Why? I mean, why? But hopefully we will be out and about doing all the cool things. We won't spend too much time in the room. And the best top fast looks like it's about to come out. I was so scared when I was taking a shower. This is the most watered down shampoo ever. Just check this out. They come out like a water. And we have a two people in the room. Usually, normally hotel give a two towel for each person. But for some odd reason, we only get one towel for each person. Of course, you use one for the seating, 
how well to wipe your body when you come up on the pool. Hmm. Shall we with us for all eternity? Ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful Lower Kono, they do have a Rua on the schedule today, so check with your concierge for that. That's the cost, I guess. If you don't want to spend $200 for the Rua, you can just sit by the pool or anywhere else to enjoy the music. And just like me, I bought a drink from the bar. You can take it everywhere you want to, and you can still enjoy the Rua like this. And they do give you two coupons for the drinks. regular customer with all the Hawaii Island, you are no stranger to snorkel bob. Almost every island have a snorkel bob. Royal Kono, there is a tons of options for the bar and restaurant, like this, the Tiki Bar and Restaurant. All of them pretty much have a happy hour, Monday to Friday, like at four to five, an hour. You can also rent the U-Bike here. It's called High Bike here. Not sure you guys can see that the parasailing over there is pretty cool. There's always a lot of activity to do on the island. No matter if you want to go snorkeling or just hang out by the beach. I would tell you that all the island I've been to, the big island seems very laid back. People are slower and nicer. They're not in the rush. There's the ABC store. I guess it, this is the street where it's all the bars, bars and restaurants. The happy hour special, $4.25 a bottle. That's not a bad deal. And you can play volleyball here. It's pretty awesome. I think Notice that there's quite a few Thai restaurants on the island too. We already went over, we already come across about two or three. Of course, there's no shortage of a pokey or sushi. Behind the street, there is the uh, food court area right here. And I just want to show you really quick. This is the uh, Kona coffee. You can get the iced coffee and sipping it, watching the sunset. There is a lot of dining choices. A lot of people waiting for the shape ice. There's an Outback here. I don't think we're gonna eat the Outback Steakhouse. There's quite a few dessert choices back here. See, there's more restaurants I know that stop there. It's very interesting. There is a lot of choices. We finally decided we're gonna eat at the Hoggers. Uh, there's two Hoggers. One is more like a bar and grill, one is a sit down restaurant. Bar and grill could get a little loudy and different kind of crowd, and we kind of like it a little bit more quiet. We come here to unwind, so we decided to sit at the Hoggers regular restaurant. It is by the ocean, and we just ordered a couple Mai Tai. We're gonna see how that go, and I'm gonna let you know why I decided to eat a little bit.
morning guys my hair is all wet now it's a rainy day on Kona today um since it's raining luckily we did all the activity last two days we decided to go for a brunch we picked Papa Kona's for brunch it's right here let me show you it's on the deck by the ocean when you have a restaurant by the ocean even the food is no good I mean, the view already winged, so let's go. We just get to sit right now. The place is really nice. It's just like a typical Hawaii place. It's open air. I ordered the uh, papaya bowl. Let's see how they go. They do have a lot of breakfast cocktail. Um, it's a little too early, so I just have a ton of coffee, of course. I love papaya. How about you? Did you find the taste kind of weird or do you like the taste? Leave the comment below. I'm gonna focus on my breakfast now. We just finished the breakfast and come out here to use the restroom. It's a really cool view. Let me show you. They also have an event room here. If it wasn't for such a raining day, it gotta be a really cool place and pack. Now we're at the Kona Inn, the shopping village. Uh, this is along the, um, the same road that we a hotel at. There's tons of restaurants and shopping. It's kind of early. It doesn't look like too many shops are open, but we're still going to go check it out. Especially today, it's going to be a rain home day. Nothing to do but shopping. The difference for good. Um, I wonder is the impact by the pandemic, or it's just not too many people come to the big island. But hopefully they pick up some business. To stop by ABC for the ring poncho. Luckily, they have those uh, the cheese plastic garbage bag poncho. They sell for two forty nine. I mean, it's not that bad, and it is raining. I don't want to get my hair wet, so let's keep on walking.
right behind me is Hui Place. It's right here, close to our hotel in Kona. This is the, the house built by the first chief. Built on the uh, 1838. The first Hawaii chief that started westernized the building, the living style, everything. That's why this house has very historical value. Hey guys, after like a 30 minutes walk, we finally arrived at the famous Kona Brewery. Look at right here. They had few different kind of shops. They have a beef jerky, coke, chocolate, boutique. Who cares? I'm thirsty for beer. How about you? Let's go. It 
taste not as strong as it looks. I think maybe a little lemon there kind of balance the taste a little bit. I thought it was going to be taste very hoppy like IPA, but it does not. It tastes pretty smooth, but it's such a thick color like this. Won't no beer is a bad beer, right? All right, my pizza is here. exhausted after all five days trips I think I'm ready to go home well give you kind of my two cents about Kono um, I definitely love the nature about it there's less much less people here but at the same time the choices of the restaurant the food choices is less too unless you like a nature like I do like hiking snorkeling Otherwise, there's not much to do. There's not much shopping. There's not much dining choices. But just because it's not a lot of choices doesn't mean that the price is cheaper. Price is actually quite high here too. So if you are coming here, um, the grocery, the gas, everything is a little bit higher than you are expected. Um, if I come back again, I definitely probably will stay at the Captain Hook area just because it's kind of central. I probably will get an Airbnb instead of a hotel because since the food choice is not a lot, I think I would just get the grocery. I just rent a car and get a grocery and um, go hiking, go snorkeling, uh, have a good time. And if I want, I drive into town and have a, a cocktail or two. and. But, but uh, I would definitely stay at Airbnb instead of a hotel because um, the most hotel here are older unless you stay at Four Seasons and all that but uh, that's out of my budget but I would definitely stay at the uh, Airbnb instead um, as far as the, uh, the nature resource I definitely suggest you go to the Volcano National Park also the uh, heated the two-step beach there's tons of hiking trail. We didn't make it to Hero this time just because of the ton. But I definitely would like to go Hero next time. And there is a lot of farm. The coffee farm, avocado farm, and um, squid farm and all that. I would like to go next time on my trip. So uh, contact me if you would like me to visit your farm or visit your um, coffee shop or restaurant. Uh, the bottom line is, I definitely will come back to Kono, but I'll probably stay in a different property, different city, and I will cook for myself. So, any question you have for Kono, I can try to answer as much as I could. Oh, what to bring? Uh, definitely bring some layer, because it could be sunny one day and next day be cold and raining. So don't forget to bring your layer, and if possible, pick a poncho or something, because it could be rain for. A whole day if you don't have any umbrella and poncho you will have to buy it okay leave the comment below and make sure you subscribe my channel for more information about traveling and all that and i would love to s if you've been to kono before let me know what's your favorite spot if you haven't been here before email me or text me if you have any questions below okay subscribe my channel and smash that like button see you next time